how to quickly set your volume faders and your pan knobs to zero. So say you're in Pro Tools, you're mixing a session, and you've been adjusting levels and pan position, and maybe for whatever reason you want to set your faders back to zero. So I could grab this fader and pull it up to zero. All right, there we go. And then this one, I want it on zero. Uh, there we go. So on and so forth. But that's going to take a, quite a few seconds, and even a few minutes if you have large sessions. Much easier way is on Windows, hold down your Alt key and click the fader. That drops it right into zero, or to the default position when you've created the track. We can do that on all of these. Very fast, very quick. And we can do the same thing with our pan knobs here. So here's a mono track and it's panned off to the side and we want to put that back to zero. So I could drag it and try to get it to stay on zero. There we go. And do that with this one. That's going to take a while. Much easier way, again, hold down the Alt key on Windows and click. Very easy, very simple. Now here we are on a stereo track. When you create a stereo track, the default for a stereo track is usually panned left and right 100%. If we use the Alt click on our stereo tracks, it acts the same way as our mono track. So we hold down Alt, click, drops it into zero, drops that pan knob into zero as well. And the Alt key works the same way in the edit window as well. You can see our volume in here is at minus eight, and our pan knobs are at 51 and 81. So we can do this from the edit window as well. Hold down Alt and click, it zeroes it out. Hold down Alt and click and it zeroes out our pan knobs. Same things works for our sends. If we open up this send here, it's on minus 6.4, so we'll just hold down Alt, click, there we go. Works the same for these faders. Drops it into zero. Same thing works for our plugins. The gain was on zero. Here the frequency is defaulted to 1000 hertz, so we'll move that off there. The default is one, so we'll move that up. Hold down our Alt key and click. It drops it right back to the default position of one, 1000, and zero. Check another plug in here. When you open up 11, this is the this is kind of the default setup. So we'll make adjustments. And we want to set the mids back to where they were when we started. So we could kind of try to adjust it here. But it can be a little squirrely when you're using a mouse. So again, with your plugins, you can also use the Alt key. Hold down Alt, click, drops it right into 5. You can see 0 to 10, so right in the middle will be 5. You can see on the presence, it's dropped it down to about 3, 2 or 3. That's because that was the default setting for presence. So if I pull default way up to around 7 or 8, hold down Alt, click, it drops it right back to the default position. So there's a quick and easy painless way to adjust your faders and your pan knobs to zero, just by holding down Alt on Windows and clicking the fader or the pan knob.